also live on Restream. Good evening. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday, everybody. Hi, you are watching Circuit Board, the official Founders podcast on Color Circuit. Oh, and you're also watching Color Circuit uh, wherever you are on Facebook, Twitch, or the YouTube. I'm Scott. And to my right, Kendra, Dylan, and Jessica. We are missing Bon because he has a busy ass uh, life? creative life. He's uh, doing a play right now. So. Thank you, Jess, for coming in and uh, sure. gabbing with us. Being our bond. Being sure. our gabber. Fellow gabbing. Uh, so how was everyone's day today? Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Now, you didn't... Did you work today? I did not work today. So you had, like, day to do errands or... Yes, I had an interview. I did some laundry. Mm. I got a haircut. Mm. Did some shopping. Mm. Most exciting podcast on the internet. So you went to your, to your hair person? I actually went to, person? nope, I went to a different person today, and I think I'm going to start going back there. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. You see your hair? I just had the back done. Oh, you remember just the how back? long it was? Yeah. No, I don't. Oh. oh. Well, yeah, we were just talking about it the other day. Well, your like, bangs last time we cute. saw her. Thank you. I did those. I cut oh. my bangs, so. Oh. <laughs> so it was a team effort. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I got my, the back of my head done for $8. Oh, Holy nice. crap. Which is pretty that's good right. for a lady. Yeah, for a lady. Girl, can I cut the back of your head? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Get up in there. I have a haircut coming on Tuesday, so. Mm. You excited? Yeah. Sure. No, I, I love my uh, hairdresser, Bridget. Uh, we go way back. Um, and we just gab. Gab like a couple of gals. Oh, yes. Um, it's, it's, it's good fun. Oh, dear. Uh, she tells me about her, her life, and I t talk about mine. And, you know, she, she's really like a, a therapist, you know, as yeah. a, good, a good hairdresser is. Mm -hmm. um that was actually in the news how um not too long ago there was a story about how there is a seminar for hairdressers to take that acknowledges that you know th for like warning signs to look out for if like yeah you, or if you see like bruising on a scalp or something uh to be very sensitive about those things and like uh somebody in a in a, in a hairdresser chair will be maybe Telling you things about their personal life that oh maybe I should be really concerned about this. Then it's not just yeah. You know, it could be a domestic uh, violence thing. Wow. Oh, that's, that's what you were getting at. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Way to bury it, the lead, Scott. I don't think that was buried. I think that was obvious. It was <laughs> well six for the feet under. most of the story. Joe was like, <laughs> so I really was. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. You're, you're like, I don't see way. where you're going with this. What the fuck are you talking about? I thought about, bruises Scott? on the scalp was a good anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the bruises on the scalp. They're playing the launch pad on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Most of my friends back home are skateboarders, so that's what I. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not really, but yeah. God, you're so lame. I, I know. know. <laughs> I, I actually, it reminds me of this story on Facebook of this girl who was so severely depressed that her hair just turned into like this bird's nest. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, she like never and, brushed it. Yeah, oh, and I they, see. They, yeah. they did like, a yeah, and they and they like cut it and like, like detangle, untangled it, and right. like just made her over and i thought that was like one of the sweetest things you could do for someone who is like severely depressed so yeah 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 at what point do you just awesome. cut it off you know you i mean it. i think they, they cut it short they cut they it pretty cut short, it short but they, yeah. they salvaged this is a recent thing this is a recent thing i mean i don't know how recent it is but i know it, it just was like all over facebook it was like a really popular story which i really liked i see i see so, yeah do you ever see those episodes of like Maury Povich or a show like that, but it was uh, women, mostly women who were bullied as young girls confronting their bully. Oh and, my God. And, and, and it was usually like, oh, back in school I was overweight or I had braces or I had acne or whatever, and you made so much fun of me. And they, they get remade or whatever, and they like come out all hot. <laughs> and they're just like, look at me now. And basically, what it boiled down to was uh, liposuction and breast implants. Like, that's oh, what they great. forced them to. <laughs> and, wow. and, of course, because it was, you know, fake, uh, the bully was just like, I don't care, whatever, you're still ugly. Or whatever. They were still a bully, so you could hate them. They didn't have any remorse <laughs> at all. Them. Yeah. Gosh. I heard a really good ridiculous. bully story, uh, story the other day. Um, uh, I feel like I mention this podcast every time I'm on this podcast. I just love it so. Uh, but Jessica Chobot and Bizarre States was talking about like karma 
and she said that there's this bully in high school um and later on in life when jessica's doing okay she's on television and stuff she goes into uh blockbuster and blockbusters are still a thing and the girl was working at the front desk there and she was trying to talk to jessica like it was cool and then jessica walks out of the store and as she's walking out the girl comes out and she's like oh i forget like i uh like i was just on break or something my my tires are are are, are slashed and it was not jessica or anything she's like they're just like all my tires she's like can you help me out like give me a ride or something Jessica's like no and walked away <laughs> that was the revenge like revenge accidental bullying. right and accidental revenge right, uh, right, on right. her bully did you guys ever have bullies and in uh school uh, yeah sure like high school yeah i was it was pretty okay like middle school but high school yeah and, and nothing like physical but just mm -hmm. like fag and all the classics i had mm. more in the like classics. elementary school because i was can you list all the classics <laughs> bags up there he's like history <laughs> one um, Do we? yeah so i i was like one of those girls that developed early and so uh -huh. i got boobs and like a butt before everyone else did so i was like 12 and had giant boobs and nobody else did so they were jealous so they would like make fun of me and just like say i was fat when it was just like i have had boobs right. and they didn't have anything um <laughs> your breast is fat and, and, <laughs> and like the upper part of your chest like, is fat well i was <laughs> tiny and then like guys would date me specifically just because i had sure boobs right. like that was it and then they'd break up with me like a week later <laughs> and i'm like what happened they're like oh you i just dated you because you had boobs i'm like what did you show it to them no okay i didn't even I let them touch relate. it <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day like, right I, people would be like hey itty bitty titty committee president breast cam <laughs> that was a lot to get out for just a <laughs> for just a little insult yeah Itty bitty titty committee. Ah, oh, shit, I picked it up. All right. Uh, itty bitty titty Ah, Kendra, get over here. <laughs> uh, that reminded me, I mean, it's not exactly the same thing, but kind of the same thing. I had a Super Nintendo before all my other friends did. And so <laughs> it's the <laughs> same thing. They were jealous. Well, no, like there was this kid they were jealous. Uh, 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 in my class, and he was shitty. Uh, but he would be like, hey, you should, you should spend <clears throat> the night. Bring your Super Nintendo. Like, <laughs> oh, I see how it just is. Just using okay. my Super Nintendo. Is this why I never got bullied? Because I had nothing that people would be jealous about? <laughs> no, not necessarily. No, I, I got bullied because... You were probably one of the cool kids. I... Yeah. I wasn't. Oh. Well, one of them... I got... One of the times I can remember being bullied is a guy named Nick Wysowski. Nick Wysocki. Oh, we're Nick saying Wysa names. Wow. G.T. Thornburg. Okay. <laughs> Fuck Nick Wysocki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Everybody yeah. get yours in. Get right. Yours in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't even remember. Yeah, I'm sure he's a cool guy now. I don't know, whatever. And he was, like, kind of cool. Like, he hung out with some of my friends. Uh -huh. And I had this other bully. Well, anyways, Nick Wysocki, uh, I was dating the dating this girl in, in middle school, and I was hugging everybody, and he was mad that I was hugging all these other girls when I should have just been hugging one girl. Wow. So he was kind of bullying me. <clears throat> Where, and I have friends that were just hugger. fucking in, high, in, in middle school already, so I was a serial hugger. Um, <laughs> yeah. This other guy, too, he was... Uh, he was mad at me because I was always hitting on his girlfriend, so it was kind of like, I okay. guess, a legitimate. Yeah. Well, maybe you shouldn't have done. But he was that, definitely yeah. like a cholo thug dude with like. And you were hitting on his girlfriend? Were you dumb? Kind of. Did you want to get? She was. She was young. Did you want to get shanked? Kind of. Um, I really I had, I really had a crush shanked. on her. I don't even remember her name, but I would say it. Don't test me. <laughs> Anyways, she. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> my my uh, my, <clears throat> I had a buddy. Luckily, that was also kind of cholo ish okay and yeah. he was like we were him and i were really good friends and so he's like i'll take care of this guy for you don't worry about it and i'm like all right cool and i always had friends like that friends that were like like vouching for you making sure you don't kind get of vouch killed. yeah they were kind of like <laughs> like the muscle of my brain uh, if that's what i had which oh I yeah because i i couldn't defend myself to save my life right so exactly I, yeah i actually had yeah friends like and that. um the so he, he's like uh so my buddy chris he comes back the like uh, over the weekend he comes back and he's hanging out with this guy like on campus and he walks up to me with a guy and he's like he's like hey actually he's, he's actually pretty cool like and he's like hey buddy like no problems like you know like they hey. ended up working it out like it like they talked it through or something i don't know they were just <laughs> chill after that so now wow. all of a sudden i'm cool with this guy you know yeah. so it worked out worked out yay mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yep. No bullies for you guys? I didn't really have any bullies. No. no. I was more the person who would actually stand up for people mm. because I had friends that were in different groups and I had like 
the mean girl friends that would like make fun of everyone else and they were kind of like the bullies of mm. the school and i would have to like defend hey guys. other yeah. people and be like S- stop it you're right. being like the world needs assholes. people like you mm-hmm. and then they would be like you're kicked out you're not mean you're at not all one of us anymore and i'm like i don't care i don't want to be an asshole <laughs> like see you later i i'm not <laughs> proud of this at all but i Here was the bully once <gasps> Uh, I knew it. I don't remember this kid's name, but he looked just like Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> Hogwarts shirt. Now I'm the nerd. <laughs> but he, was the, he was the nerd in middle school. There's a lot of stuff happened in middle school. Yeah. Uh, and I, I just remember standing in line in PE, and I just started picking on him and shoving him. And wow. I was, I was just no a bad person. I have no clue why I was doing it. Just I don't even think I had out. friends there watching me. I think I was doing it for my own ego or something. And then a teacher uh, um, saw us, and then pulled me in his office and then he called the teacher called me a bully he's mm-hmm. like you need to stop cut wow. the shit like he didn't take me to the principal cut or anything he just like yeah cut the shit and i was like that was like that was a very big learning moment for me Good. i had never done it before that or never did it after that it was that one time yeah and i don't know i was probably trying to prove something to myself yeah. Or, weird yeah, yeah. they just, just weird. out of the blue lashed yeah. out well and, and then i had my i told you the story and it's still the worst thing i ever did to that girl I'm trying to remember, but I mean, All you're right. going to say it probably. So yeah, this was this was yeah, um, and th- this was uh, third grade, and there was a girl in our class that was just like labeled. Uh, she was she was kind of chubby, and she ate weird food. Weird. Uh, she would have like uh, p- peanut butter and mayo sandwiches, oh, that sort of thing. God. Yeah. Yeah. So That's she had her thing, really gross. Um, <laughs> and she was she was quiet. She didn't really you know stick up for herself but she was like everyone in the class picked on her and i was yeah. no different i w- i wasn't the whistleblower or anything um and uh so there was one day where one of our n- our nuns that were on lunchroom duty it was a catholic school uh she was like there's no reason that uh um sheila that's not a real name uh, should be sitting alone. Uh, so she had Sheila sit with us at our table. And then we just immediately went in on her, just, you know, started insulting her and whatever. And see, I'm not, I, I, I don't start things, but I do add on to things. Like, I don't start <laughs> conversations, but I'll, like, come into other people's conversations and be like, Haha, yeah, that'll be me. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know what led into this line, but I do remember saying, yeah, you're probably adopted. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and immediately. In third grade, that's hardcore. Yeah. And immediately she started to cry, and oh. everyone was like, oh, shit. Like, Scott, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Like, oh, God, I- I'm sorry. And then so she's crying. And then the nun, whose brilliant idea was for her to sit with us in the first place, comes by, and she's like, oh, Sheila, why are you crying? Why are you crying on St. Valentine's Day? It was Valentine's Day. Oh, right? great. <laughs> Scott Brown. Oh, Scott. <laughs> and it was St. Wow, Valentine. Scott. It was St. Valentine. <laughs> it wasn't Fred Valentine. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I remember I, 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 I like made this apology that I was going to say to her like the next day. Um, and... Uh, she was just like, yeah, yeah, what, well, whatever. You know, she didn't want it to be brought up again, obviously. Yeah. And then, like, um, she she went through the rest of that school year, and after that, she didn't come back. What? Our Lady of Fatima. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's probably having a better time Shit, elsewhere. God. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Yeah. yeah. No. That was. Yeah. Um, that's oh my core. God. So probably every bad thing that's happened to me, I've deserved. Yeah. <laughs> based on that. Wow. It's intense. No, we all learn. You learned early. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Young. Like I, that was. Yeah, and then I got mine in high school, and yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. So, I think the reason that I didn't really get bullied is because I was always so far out there. Nobody wanted to but mess nobody, with you. Yeah, but they nobody could like. You. What do you mean? No, no, like, no, what no, friend no, circle I, was like, that out fuck there? With me, but like. She's I was over there. I was already weird enough. <laughs> Physically, <laughs> she's literally just over there. I can't. I can't. I can't bully her, her over there. She's, she's so far. small. She's I don't away. know if she's even. Yeah, over there. I would always just hang out in the field. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <funny. laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> no, I wore like mismatched 
pants and shirts, and then I would wear like rainbow toe socks with flip flops and like. Wow, you were pretty weird. I was just weird, uh, yeah. and I was like the girl that would like make all my friends play duck duck goose <laughs> nice. during lunch, even though we were way too like that went on till eighth grade. Yeah, that is pretty and late. Then, yeah, <laughs> and I was That's just always name. like a weird goofball kind of person, but I was always friendly. I was never mean to anyone. Um, were you always nerdy? Like you're really into D and D. No, that didn't really come until probably like my senior year of high school. Okay, so you got a ner- nerdiness late. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I see. Interesting. My my nerdiness ebbed and flowed because I was really into Pokemon for you know as a kid, like right. really into Pokemon, and I'm sure some other things too, like Beyblades. I don't know if you guys remember those. Yeah. Um, it was a little before your time. Because uh, you're or, old. Or, or after my time. After, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. The, what was before your Nothing time, Nothing was though, before that my time because I'm so old. <laughs> what was before your time you are not that's akin to a Beyblade, though, is uh, the spin tops that were like, they're made of wood. I used to have them on my front porch. Uh-huh. And you just throw it and it has a string and it spins. A okay. spin top. Beyblades were the modern version of it and you like shoot it out of a shooter and then oh, it would, like, okay. they would like hit each other. That's cool. In a little arena. It was really fun. Yeah. And then I stopped being nerdy through most of like middle and high school, and then I picked up nerd. I was pretty again. weird in high school. I went through a goth phase. Ooh, yeah. I went through a like pop punk, like thought I was cool wearing shoelaces as necklaces and like nerdy like Muppet baby shirts and mm-hmm. like just weird shit. I'm like, why did I do that? That's cool, Muppet baby shirts. Um, I, used I would to do wear my that now. Like yeah. one black <laughs> stripe <laughs> on the crease. I'm like, what the. F- was they thinking? Wait, you would do what? Like one black stripe oh, on, the, on the eyelid crease. Have you ever done that? Was, what the hell? Eh, eh, ready to go. Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Tie a shoelace around my neck uh, and I'm good. You did it wrong, Scott. It's actually two pencils. Eh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Save even more time. Man, get out the door quicker. It's like, it's like a reverse football player. <laughs> go hang out with all the friends you're going to make with those. Oh my God. <laughs> um, all right, so, weird. so uh, should we talk about the thing we've been meaning to talk about mm. for a very long time? What's yes. that? AIDS. Close. It's an epidemic. Oh. Very close. <laughs> oh, she's going to say, I know what you're going to say, but you're going to be wanna, wrong about it. Do you want to do something else first? No, no, no. I just, I'm waiting for you to say it. Go what, ahead. What is happening? Scientology. We talked about it last week on the podcast. You gotta listen. But, to, you gotta trip. listen to yeah. your podcast, but, Kendra. Right. <laughs> but there's a continuation. But yeah, there there yeah, is. So here's what part two is. Follow Go ahead, no, Listen to it. It's a really good podcast. So yeah, yeah. we. Uh, <laughs> you should listen to you our should podcast. Listen to board you should listen to our <laughs> episode eight. Uh, so yeah, we went over uh, my my trip to L.A. and uh, most importantly, my trip to uh, the Scientology Center. Now this is. But the, did you talk about your pins too? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, we went to the Pin Expo, and it was cool. And okay, cool. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what I, got, I got to wear my jacket and not be made fun of. <laughs> Aww, nobody, Scott. I nobody like makes jacket. fun of Scott's jacket. Huh? I bet nobody makes fun of your jacket. Not there. They be, they knew <laughs> me. me. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but people do have to acknowledge it, which makes me think, oh, okay, they are making fun of it. No, they're just being nice about it. it. No, 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 no. They're not making fun of it, but they're like thinking, Jesus Christ. It is a lot of pins. You do have I a bet. lot of pins. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, I, I love n- not pins. there I didn't. Uh, <laughs> it's nice yeah. to find your people, in LA, right? It's, yeah. In LA, it's, it wouldn't be a thing at all. Like, it's just yeah, and I mean, there's there. enough of a culture there yeah. that there's a reason yeah. they were, it was there. Uh, but anyway, um, my friend and I are big into like cults and stuff, and so I thought, wouldn't it be funny if we went to the Scientology Center? Now, and this was the big blue building that they like swoop over in those Scientology documentaries. This is the big one. This is the campus. And we go in, and uh, anyway, for the rest of the story, listen to that podcast. Um, and you too. <laughs> uh, but anyway, they did give me a free personality test Woo-hoo. that you take. And she was trying to sell it to us, like, oh, it only takes a couple hours. Oh, and it t- it's uh, 80 bucks. Jesus. And uh, we throw in this book, Personal Efficiency. Efficiency. Uh, so yeah, you can take a look at that. But anyway, I have this personality test, uh, which is to find out what's wrong with you. And then you go <laughs> back to them and they audit you uh-huh. and you find out, uh, what your thetan level is. And, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, oh Jesus, it, it is a long, <laughs> well, let's go over some questions. I'd like to see uh, what they're asking you. Start yeah. at, start at the first one, I guess. Yep. All right. Number one, section one, ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make thoughtless remarks or accusations which later you regret? 
Yes, Probably definitely. Probably everybody. Sure. Yeah. See, all right. When others are getting rattled, do you remain fairly composed? Yeah. No. All right. Maybe something you, you haven't really <laughs> thought of before, and you're like, do you're you a Scientologist. <laughs> is what you're like. <laughs> do you do you browse through railway timetables, directories, or dictionaries just for pleasure? No. Wait, railway what? timetables, directories. That, this is an or old fucking yeah, no. like it's just like what? No, like I train don't. schedules, I think is what they mean. <laughs> like I railway timetable. That's very specific. No. Is yeah. that question three or is that's that? That's and the I'm third working question. on the one I said no to. Like really working on it. Oh, the getting rattled or getting like I'm trying to learn how to practice nonviolent communication. Ah, I see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do you intend two or less children in your family, even though your health and income will permit more? These are very, like, specific. Do you intend um, to what? Okay. Uh, I'm confused by that. Do you intend two or less children in your family, even though your health and income may, will permit you more? It's like, oh, I, oh. I could afford having a five-kid household, oh. but oh I just want, I want zero, one, or two kids. Yep. Zero. Zero, one, or two. Do you get okay, occasional twitches of your muscles when there is no logical reason for it? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Mm, no. what? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not really. Can I? What, what, like, what, what else is on that um, thing aside from questions? Like, I see a how it works section over oh, there. Oh, yeah. So, uh, step one, take the test. <laughs> uh, pretty simple. Step two, get your results. Come into your local S uh, Church of Scientology to obtain and review your OCA uh, test results. The OCA is Oxford Capacity Analysis, by the way. Mm. Step three, consultation. This is where they get you. Receive a complimentary consultation with a specialized consultant. Get a detailed analysis of your results and a better understanding f of your personality strengths and perceived weaknesses and establish the recommended path to your fast and lasting success. It'll cost you. Uh, <laughs> Wow. So, um, bucks to be exact. Um, so yeah, this is like their introductory thing. You go in, you get audited. Um, they find out how ter terrible of a person you are and what path of Scientology and what books you need to do. And so this book is complements that. Is what yeah, you're well, uh, when I was talking to her, she asked me like, uh, so what would you like to gain from Scientology? Because they really do sell it like you're going to get superpowers out of this. That's amazing. Like you are going to get... Uh, I want to fly. Like, uh, like power of suggestion, or you're going to be able to control other people with the things you learn from us. <clears throat> I thought so you said power up <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> or what, whatever the Zelda sound is. Um, but yeah, so they they have all this. Like, is your life a constant struggle for survival? Wow. Why don't you read a little bit of that one, Kendra? Uh, I, yeah, I'm, and I'm really liking one of these lines. All right, so it says About Scientology by L. Ron Hubbard. Lafayette, Ron, Ronald Hubbard. Wow. Lafayette. Scientology is a religion which addresses human ability. Whoa. Scientology has churches on every continent of Earth. That's like, that's 10. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Scientology tenets and religious practices can enliven the intelligence of an individual. Whoa. Their ability to handle life and their fellows can be increased markedly. A hundred years ago, it was believed that the intelligence and capability of an individual could not be changed. S settle down. <laughs> this this old-fashioned idea, once a firm basic of psychology, has now been disproven. By me. People can change, wow. Dylan. I didn't, I didn't know. Personally. Scientology can change them. Praise. Hey, hey, hey. It may be easy with that. Wow. That's trying to discredit my whole why'd profession. You, why'd, you, why'd you take it away? Well, see, this is what I was worried about with my friend and I. Like, we had a safe word. Right. Like, just in case we sense the other one turning. <laughs> you're like, like uh, I think we need to go right, to the way. raspberry store or whatever. Um, it was actually cacao because we're both Portlandia fans. Cacao. Um, but it was yeah, it got it got it got dicey to where mm -hmm. uh, the Scientology that I called the closer, Cheryl, she really wanted us to stay and spend money and then start our life of Scientology. Yeah. But we were like, uh, we have dinner reservations, and she was like, where? We're like, fuck. <laughs> You're like, so I the don't know where. Considering the way <laughs> you've talked about. Go get? 
the way you've talked about Scientology makes it seem like it's anti uh, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual oh, absolutely. of Mental Disorders. They are uh, against any psychology, it's modern is, psychiatry. It's the, the Bible of yeah. psychologists, yeah, psychiatrists, it therapists. It is now outdated, though, sadly, because there is a five. Yeah, right. The DSM-4 so. is outdated. And they've changed, right. like, the autism spectrum and that yes. sort of thing. Yeah. There's yeah. no longer Asperger's. It does not exist. Now you're just on the autism spectrum. And you're it's growing, too, because yep. this high hasn't functioning, always... Low functioning, yeah. That's kind of it. The DSM hasn't always been uh, great, mm-hmm. like... Uh, like being transgender and certain well sexual thing i mean uh, sexual identities to start it used to say that being gay was a disease a a, disorder a disorder yeah which is horrifying that was an early uh early edition of definitely not without its flaws but it's not always right but due to the size of it and what they have to go through it probably takes them a while to get to like five or six or like so it's the fact that that is the fourth and it's probably been that way for a while right yeah, yeah i don't know how often these things update every every decade probably it's not like uh the dictionary where it's like we got no. a couple new words for webster's right. this and year. they really lol is in the dictionary yeah, do a ton of research on mm-hmm. these things to show that it's a pattern in people not that it's just like one person mm-hmm. that's an anomaly that yeah. is like this and the so. reason we have it is because well jessica spent a lot of years studying the dsm mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Which is why I was saying Scientology is trying to discredit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because they want you to Everything go I went to, to them. college for. Yeah. Yeah. They have all the answers. You have nothing. Like, there's that famous uh, Tom Cruise just burn this book. versus Matt Lauer Today Show interview where Tom Cruise just goes off on Matt Lauer for uh-huh. not knowing anything about psychiatry or, like, I know the truth about psychiatry. <laughs> you're, and you're just like, you're just trying to talk about a Mission Impossible movie. Just like <laughs> calm the fuck down. Like, yeah. There's a similar. I don't think it, it's by any means perfect. Like, I think that. Sure, science is not perfect. No, but that's the I know. Part of science, yeah, so. and then like I think, you know, obviously I think our culture is really screwed up because we teach people not to deal with their problems by like actually going to therapy and talking about stuff. Mm. We teach them to take a pill and get a quick fix, and you're all good, and you don't have to work on anything. You just pop a pill. Which I don't really agree with, unless you're like an extreme mental suffering, or yeah, or it's know? in addition to therapy. Right. Oftentimes, right. Like I just will prescribe. because people yeah. who are like paranoid schizophrenic, sure. they have to be on medication. You do not want to be hearing voices twenty four seven. That is horrifying. So yeah, there's actual uh, like look it up on YouTube like what it what it's like to be a schizophrenic uh, like a, like an audio schizophrenic or something mm. like that, and they have. They've had schizophrenic people go in and ha- help, uh, like audio engineers or whoever's making these audio clips. Uh, this is what make it make clips like, yeah. to make it yeah seem what it sounds they like. They have and, that like, for Alzheimer's too, like a simulation where you can. Yeah, like, I've heard of that. Yeah, have, it's like, crazy, ooh, man. Yeah, those are, those are sounds freaky. terrifying. Freaky. It is terrifying. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like it at all. Awful. Uh, so anyway, I survived. I'm survived. not a Scientologist. I'm still not. proud atheist. Yeah. <laughs> Although, uh, yeah, boy. yeah, like uh, they, I, and th- they have their old creation story, which is bonkers yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, so whatever. Question: Do your parents know that you're an atheist? Um, nope. I've no, I've <laughs> talked to my actually, I talked to my mom pretty regularly about just like, you know, what what her belief system is because it's changed over the years. Uh-huh. Um, like the other day, I, I asked her, you know, what. She, what she wants to have happen when she passes away. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, and for That's a while... A question. Well, yeah, well, I forget what prompted it. Um, it's not like there's a life insurance policy here. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there's... Uh, but no, f- I knew for a while that she had mixed thinking about the Catholic uh, Church because she hasn't stepped foot in one for years and it's right. based directly on how they treated the whole uh molestation thing yeah you know it was like they treated it like a uh fortune 500 company when it's a religion you're mm-hmm. not yeah. uh sears roebuck or whatever yeah. or whatever they just a bigger it company under the rug, like it's all good exactly now. and they shuffle the yeah. priests around and everything so she was like i can't support that uh uh church they really yeah. Did a lot of covering up. Oh, it's terrible. And yeah. Yeah. And the fact that, it's I amazing. mean, decades after the fact, they're like, all right, we'll split a settlement amongst all the kids from one school that were harmed. It's like, right. that'll make up for the years of, yeah. Um, 
so yeah, my mom doesn't really support the Catholic Church, but she the other day she was like, I do think I do want a Catholic service when she passes away. She wants mm. to be cremated. That's the whole thing. Um, and then I was like, when I die, um, and hopefully she won't be the one setting that up. Right. Um, <coughs> I'll do it for you. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I want I don't want it to be in a church or anything, but just like a nice get together, maybe. Yeah. I want mine to be like a party. Yeah. I yeah. A party like a celebration of my life. And if like people want to get up and like. say some things yeah. or whatever. I want people to be sad at mine. <laughs> I'm I'm black and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I hopefully there will be. I want people to wear be, rainbow you know, colors at mine. There will be like, uh, yeah, I, I think it will be a sad occasion. I want everyone to be dressed head to toe in black, but also be wearing blackface. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds it's, good. It's what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just remembered this last night when I went to church as a kid. Um, they literally—I don't even know if I ever even told you this—they literally had these uh, machines that you go into, uh, like a box. What? It's, it's a, it's a, I'm sorry, let me start over. It's not a machine. It's a box, and they put a blower in there, a fan, and then they put the money in it. And there's whatever amount of money oh, you can yeah, catch yeah, in 30 yeah. seconds. We had those in my church too. That At is the church? What? Yeah. I didn't realize how what? fucking insane oh. that was until yesterday. We had the yesterday. weirdest. I mean, we had school dances where they were playing, like, freak dancing music. Like, <laughs> you know, like, Ying Yang twins and stuff. That's not the we're crazy like part. We're, like, making no, no, out no, no, everywhere. No, 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 no. So this was in the your. The money thing is the This was in part. your church. This was at. A Baptist church yeah. that I grew up at. I so think like, I went to the same it? church. No, Off to the. Su- was it CBC? No, no, no. We Across went to different from your church. house? No, no, no. It wasn't okay. CBC. Well, no, CBC I went to I went to, a I went to primarily black church, but um, it wasn't like a Southern black Baptist. It was like a felt modern. You know, okay. it didn't felt traditional or old, uh, especially considering they had a money thing. I I That's didn't realize so how weird. crazy that is until last night. Like so, any- they were literally just like. Yeah. What, was need. it somebody in the community that needed help, like needed no, financial? They would, it was a, so everybody got a raffle ticket at the beginning, and this was <laughs> they split up the adults, the teenagers, and the children. Uh. And the teenagers, it was more of like a club, and every, all the teenagers that were in there, there was maybe a hundred of us. They, we'd each get a raffle ticket, and then they would throw us into these machines, and then we'd get money. <laughs> like, they were literally buying us for yeah. God. It's just yeah. crazy. I think uh, I'm going to reconsider Scientology after hearing that one. Yeah, you get money. No, well, you They're should They're organized as fuck. <laughs> He's going to Baptist church where you can mm-hmm. catch money. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus money. Christ. That's I, a crazy. great... I had that's what you say when you pastor come into my work money. Jesus Christ. and tip me a $100 bill <laughs> on a $100, $200 check, which is really good tip a hundred dollars on 200 yeah sure 50. and um he was wearing like the gator you know shoes and, wait like, wait was really he a nice priest suit. is that or he something? was a pastor he was oh, like a, okay, yeah okay. i was like wow. how is this connecting you just got a large tip yeah. one day and he was like god bless you and he like gave me a hundred and i was like damn nice god damn i, I mean, saw jesus i mean huh. wow benjamin franklin <laughs> <laughs> he's on the five <laughs> <sighs> He's never seen. As far as you know. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know why I play an idiot on circuit board. <laughs> uh, <laughs> play, huh? Yeah. Uh, you sure that's a game? Wait, what'd you say? Play, you sure play. Damn it. <laughs> you walked into that one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that was too easy. Low hanging fruit, guys. I got you guys were funnier and smarter. Uh huh. Wow. Cutting to the sad cam. Sad people cam. Oh. Is is that us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are we sad? I don't know. He said, I'm just yes anding his suggestion. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, sad, Kim. Sad. I mean, uh, I, I do, but okay, I, so I, Scott, I internalize it. Is that just your I, life? You and I were I talking. I don't uh, put it in my lip. Uh, great bit. You and I were talking about uh, <laughs> one, of all best <laughs> <laughs> one of the best guitarists <laughs> in the world the other night. That is the best guitarist. Oh, that's right. A John Mayer. Jamar. Uh, he is a great guitarist. I'm like a huge he might Sean be a douchebag, but uh, might be a douchebag, but an amazing yeah. but guitarist. He can beautiful. fucking play the blues and jazz like crazy. And, and yeah, so we were we were talking about him, and you and I mentioned the th- his uh, famous Playboy interview uh-huh. he did a few years ago, where he came out. Well, he was speaking for his penis, and he was saying. I'm sorry. This is something like my, but my penis is racist, meaning that he's not attracted to 
African American or maybe Asian, whatever, women is just strictly for whites. Mm-hmm. Um, oh and so that God. led, so I wanted to look it up and I found this article, the 15 douchiest John Mayer quotes. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Can we go around? Can you just pass it sure. around oh, for each quote? A, yeah. All I right, like so number one with the reason that we searched for it in the first place, my dick is, my, <laughs> my <laughs> dick is again. sort of. Your best John Mayer voice. <clears throat> how, how does he sound? If it was Dave Matthews, that'd be all over. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> all right. <laughs> My dick is sort of like a white supremacist. That'd be Dave Matthews. My dick is sort of like a white supremacist. Jesus. Quote, I don't think I opened myself to it. My dick is sort of like a white supremacist. I've got a Benetton heart and a fucking David Duke cock. I'm going to start dating separately from my dick. End quote. That's John Mayer on interracial relationships in an interview with Playboy magazine, 2010. Oh, dear God. Okay. <coughs> I just realized another reason why we were talking about it is because I've been thinking about Kamal Nanjiani a lot recently. Yeah, <clears throat> Big Sick comics out in the theater. Really got to go watch Big Sick. It's Certified about um, him fresh and his wife. On, uh, yeah. He's an amazing stand-up comedian, and I uh, used to have a podcast that Scott and I individually have listened yeah. to called the Indoor, Indoor Kids. Kids. It's a video game podcast. Um, he's on Harmontown all the time, etc. Anyways, I, I I've been listening to podcasts with Kamal in it, and it reminded me of a story that he talked about. A long time ago where he's like, John Mayer is an asshole. And then <laughs> everybody's explain. like, wait, what the fuck? What, what's <laughs> going on? He's like, he went on, he went on stage prior to me as a stand-up comedian. So for those of you that don't know, John Mayer does stand-up. <laughs> mm, sorry. Now I've heard everything. So he went up on stage prior to Kumail. Or no, Kumail was up on stage and then John Mayer went on afterwards oh. and then started like, yeah, that brown guy's not funny. Middle Eastern jokes, Middle Eastern jokes, wow. things like that. Ooh. That's, that's why Kumail Nanji- yeah, that's why Kamel Nanjiani was not happy and hates John Mayer now. He has and a reason. Actually, yeah, yeah. Sounds and like a good reason. Most people, like, I have no reason to not like John Mayer. I don't know him. Right. But Kamel Nanjiani. Don't touch my booth. <laughs> it's about time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that didn't hear, Scott just groped Kendra. <laughs> was it this one? Violently. Or yes. This one? Okay, it, that was, one. it was that one. That one. Uh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> Quote number Shit two happens. on the article, 15 Greatest John Mayer Quotes. That's right, Scott. We know you did it on purpose. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been through a bit I of a I love that John Mayer song, right? by the way. <laughs> Since All I right, touched your one. left boob. I can out-gay this guy right now. <laughs> Oh, God, it's even worse. Okay, so this is about (laughs) Perez Hilton. Um, And here's the full quote. All of a sudden, I thought, I can out-gay this guy right now. I grabbed him and gave him the dirtiest, tonguiest kiss I've ever put on anybody. (laughs) Almost as if I hated bags. I don't think my mouth was... I don't think my mouth was even touching when I tongue when I was tongue kissing him. So it was like tongue That's to how tongue. disgusting <laughs> this kiss was. I'm a little ashamed. I think it lasted about half a minute. I think it really went on too long. What the fuck, John, John Mayer? Mayer? God. Oh my god. Professional comedian, everybody. Right. All right. Well, <laughs> he sounds like a piece of crap. All right. Guys. Number three. Number three. <clears throat> I'm just gonna read the whole quote. Uh. Mayer says, my two biggest hits are Your Body is a Wonderland and Daughters. Both amazing songs. This is the quote right there. I know, but it's within okay. there, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. that the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think those songs are pandering, then you'll think I'm a douchebag. It's like I come on very strong. I'm a very, I'm just very V-E-R-Y. And if you can't handle very, then I'm a douchebag. But I think the world needs a little very. That's why black people love me. <laughs> Playboy says, you're because you're very? Mayor says, someone asked me the other day, what does it feel like to have a hood pass? H-O-O-D. And by the way, it's sort of a contradiction in terms because if you really had a hood pass, then you can call it a N-bomb pass. <gasps> uh, he, he says the word. But oh, what <laughs> <is> <laughs> oh, an R. And for a, a second, I thought you... It's all asterisk. Okay. So, yeah. so probably hard R. Did it with so we're assuming sure he said hard R. Hard R? I'm assuming he's hard a comedian. R. You probably use hard R. He's a he's piece of crap. He's a com- we are not calling him that no, now. Just because you stand up to do that, I'm going to leave this podcast. John Mayer, the comedian. All right. We need to get him on our comedy <laughs> podcast. Oh, 
I would chuckle fuck the shit out of her. So would uh, so would Jennifer cute. Aniston and Jennifer Love and Hewitt and yes. everybody Taylor else. Swift. Taylor Swift. Jesus Christ. Man. I just want to be Eskimo sisters. Eskimo with Taylor sisters. Swift. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four. I have male fans, but I'm persuading them to become female. Yes, he did say that. <laughs> I have male fans, but I'm persuading them to become female. John Mayer expressing positive views of gender reassignment. <laughs> if let it start with him. Yeah. <laughs> He's really Should we just better. go back down this way? He yeah. sucks, guys. Okay. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny to me. <laughs> He's just a funny dude. I'm sort of a half chick. I can insert a tampon. John Mayer on a fellow female sanitation device in his Rolling Stone interview. Ew. In 2010. Watch how that's worded. A fellow sanitation device, female sanitation device. Yeah, whoever yeah. wrote the article is also pretty funny. He is a douchebag, and he's talking about tampons. What okay. do you got for us, Kendra? I am the new generation of masturbator. I've seen it all. Before I make coffee, I've seen more buttholes than a proctologist does in a week. <laughs> hey, Mayer tell me who, huh? On being a chronic <laughs> masturbator and considering med school. Wow. Wow. Number seven. Before I've had my coffee, I've seen more buttholes. And he sounds like a real butthole. If I so. wasn't thought of as a young Bruce Springsteen before, I sure am now. This is a self-deprecating video he made with some comedians that really doesn't stray very far from reality. Oh, it's a video. Um, and uh, I, So I'll go to this next one. Uh, using the N-word in an interview, I'm sorry that I used the word. Quote, in response to using the N-word in an interview, I'm sorry that I used the word, and it's such a shame that I did, because the point I was trying to make was an exact opposite spirit of the word itself. It was arrogant of me to think I could in intellectualize using it, because I realized that there's no intellectualizing a word that is so emotionally charged. His apology uh, for using the N-word in a Playboy interview via Twitter. The one that we just read. Right. It was so d disingenuous that not only did he just tweet it, but he defended the fact that he used the word. Also, if you're using a word in an interview where you refer to your racist penis as a David Duke cock, you're not really intellectualizing it. <laughs> and, yeah. Quote number nine. nine. I was crying like a baby to the printed word, and that doesn't happen much to me. All right, hold on. Let's read more of this. I was crying like a baby in my house to the printed word, and that doesn't happen much to me. This kind of sounds selfish of me, but I only took this song to write a song for a movie. What? I only took this song to write a song for a movie because I only wanted to write a song for a great movie. What was the movie? The, the Bucket List. <laughs> A great film. I mean, it is a good movie, but that's wow, funny, John Mayer, it's not like... It's a movie of our time. You know, I've, I've never met anyone no who's seen that movie, but everyone knows what a bucket thing. list is. Yeah. It's weird. Like, I've never seen it. No, Nobody I know has ever seen it, but we all know what a bucket list is. Yeah. It's a, it's a decent movie. It's, it's Jack effective. Nicholson and... Um, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Two stellar actors. Quote number 10. Uh, my favorite quote, but I've seen the list, and we'll probably just go through the line and see whose favorite quote is whose. But my favorite quote, just listen to the song, bitch. John Mayer's <laughs> advice on how to listen to his album. That's also Dylan's autobiography that. title. <laughs> just listen to the song, bitch. Oh, yeah, that. what did we decide? He That'll does be the name of our half-hour uh, improvised song. So uh, uh, Scott and I have a show uh, August 22nd um, in... Uh, Albuquerque. Uh, we're playing a, a rock show, and we're going to be doing a lot of improvisation at the show. And we don't uh, know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen, and so the, <laughs> the improv song we plan on doing, I think, should be called "Just Listen to the Song, Bitch." And you'll introduce it and everything. Hey, you guys have <laughs> someone wanting to donate to you. What? I don't In know how chat. to handle this. Oh, They're good. asking for your PayPal email so they can donate. Andrew to you. on Twitch says, "What? What's your PayPal?" I want to donate. Andrew, so you nice. are the best person in the world. You're the first person that's ever offered to donate wow. money to us. We don't have one set up yet. We want to do that. And Scott's we email. Under, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can send mine. So my email is. No, I'm just kidding. Um, um, 
But Andrew, <laughs> please stick around, and just we actually want your advice on just that. Just like, yeah. share, and subscribe for now, and that, and yeah, tell keep all your in touch friends. And tell keep your friends. watching, and yeah, we'll be in touch. Okay, are we gonna talk about my brother's uh, very uh, weird comment? Kendra's brother is also on Twitch. Uh, BBM uh, Joshua. Okay, what are you guys say? ready for this? Go ahead. Uh, it's weird. I don't know if I want to say it out loud. What did he eat? It's already in the chat. Uh, yeah, I but not a lot of people. You know. I, can't I hope okay. it's incestuous. Okay, okay. No, uh, my dick has a white hood. Make sure everyone hears this. Could you not fucking touch the mic to my Stop mouth? It. What is it? You're when I'm talking about a dick, that was actually very uh, <laughs> not okay. I actually didn't mean it in that sense. I really just wanted you to be heard. It was not a dick reference, but it can be now. <laughs> All right. So my brother Josh says, my dick has a white hood. You're not being picked up on the mic because you're away from it. Is why I did okay, that. my dick has a white hood. It's racist. I can't read. It's that. It's far away. Thanks for pointing that out, John Mayer, or whoever. Uh. A white hood. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that oh, was like the joke. joke. Yeah. Right. yeah. But yeah. it's also an uh, the joke uncircumcised was that joke. He yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. There, there are two clever. jokes in that that were kind of like. Yeah, not so much yeah, what that let's was. Let's dissect the yeah. <laughs> the comedy. So, here. so <laughs> he said that his that his cock is racist because it only likes white women, and then he said he has a hood pass, which means that he can like go into a black neighborhood and they treat him like he's black. Yeah, because he right. sings like he's black and he plays guitar with like a black backup band and stuff so he thinks that he right is in good with the black community we also know that the men in kendra's family are uncircumcised now because they have <laughs> white hoods yeah <laughs> oh, <laughs> although i do think it's kind of funny if you're thinking about white hoods although it's super racist I don't but I don't want to picture my brother's dick. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, like KKK, they wear white hoods. It's a, it's a racist joke. But Oh, I got it. Oh, I we get got it. it. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. I get it. I think you're the last one to get it is yeah. what we're getting at here. <laughs> I'm just saying I get it. I don't think it's good, but I get it. Talk uh, more about her brother's dick. All right. Oh, sorry. I, can you open right. up the next one? I think that was it. No, I think no, there were more. No, that was 10. There's 15. Oh. Yep. Five more. Juicy. Juicy quotes. My biggest dream is to w write pornography. See, this is where <laughs> John and I lock, uh, uh, we're in sync level. right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. We might collaborate. You're of one mind. When I watch porn, if it's not hot enough, I'll make up backstories in my mind. My biggest dream is to write pornography. John Mayer on porn in that <laughs> damn Playboy interview from 2010. <laughs> God. Really, Did he really just think that since it was Playboy, things. he could say anything? Yep. Or yeah, he was trying to up the the be the sexiness or whatever. He needs to be profound. Kendra's brother thanks you for getting the joke. <laughs> Good job, Jess. <laughs> she, okay. She wants the cock, but why does she want the cock? <laughs> so why? Um. This is John Mayer on meeting the right person. Okay. Hmm. What Mayer says he craves the most is to settle down with the right woman. I'll be happy when I close out this life partner thing, he says. Think of how much mental capacity I'm using to meet the right person. Dear God, how much does he think of himself? I've been using zero mental capacity in choosing my mates, so maybe, maybe you know, maybe, maybe, you guys he's, are got, maybe he's got something. Or maybe he's going. your soulmate. John Mayer, quote 13. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was the weather. What? Sometimes I wish I was what? The weather. <laughs> You'd bring me up in conversation forever, and when it rained, I'd be the talk of the day. It's, all, oh it's like John a Shel Silverstein uh, uh, poem. <laughs> and, and I just want to point out that he looks like a homeless Neil Young. Hmm. Like, if you look at him now, he, sure, he's attractive. But he's trying really hard to look like a cowboy now, and it's mm. not turning out well. I just got to say, he's go back to the clean cut, John Mayer, because it's not working for you. Um, Wait, what are you doing, man? Are I'm going to 14, right? Yes, sure. On. It was like sexual napalm. Sexually, it was crazy. That's all I'll say, he answered. It was like napalm, sexual napalm. John Mayer on his sexual relationship with Jessica Simpson, 2010. Wow. 
Playboy that's, Bunny. That's a brain article. Playboy article. That's a mm. brain trust right there. Yeah. <laughs> John Mayer and Jessica Simpson. I mean, they solved all the world's problems that night. And last but not least, She's pretty hot. Quote: I'm not trying to be trite. I am not being a parody of myself. And in finding a new kind of color to adopt for myself, it's not this or that. It's singer songwriter. But it's also blues guitar player. It's also comedian. On John Mayer. Oh, God damn it. I think this is funny. John Mayer, the comedian. He is um, not a comedian. He's the people's comedian. He's a racist fuck. Let's just be honest. <laughs> racist fucks can also be comedians. So yeah, I'm just I know, but I, it's like not even funny, though. I've watched I mean, this more than any other music DVD in my whole life. Uh, any of you guys ever seen him live or listen to his music? I know he's a good... Uh, musician. musician, but I'm kind of like, so what? Mm. Like, uh, his songs don't grab me. Um, I've seen him play. Like, I um, bet he'd grab you. I bet. He wish I was a woman. He'd give you the tonguiest <laughs> kiss ever. <laughs> ah, Extremely tonguey. As like me, tongue, tongue, then you. <laughs> ah. um, that's the breakdown. Um, but, uh, yeah, it just something about him doesn't grab me. Uh, it, it was like a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame thing where he was a part of the dais and, mm -hmm. like, the big jam at the end. And he's a very good guitar player. Yeah, he's a but, jammer. Yeah, just, like, didn't uh, grab no, me. Not your kind. Not I've my only bag ever seen him on Eric Clapton's Crossroads. Cool. Oh, that tour. Yeah. Or the mm -hmm. festival thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's good? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a great guitar player. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like his music a lot. I just think like wait, and singer songwriter, crap, right? We all agreed. Also, great yeah, singer songwriter. I think he's a great singer songwriter, yeah, I but I don't love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. I do. I, love I do. It. I've I'm, never I'm into purposely him. listened to his music. That's I'm the difference. That, yeah, you guys that need would, to actually listen. That would be a yeah. great topic for the podcast that I'm trying to. Get I'm off into the Room for Squares. Yeah, yeah, I grew up listening to it, but you know what? That doesn't mean he's not a douchebag. Did you here? All right, guys, we're all talking we'll over like each other. Probably not the right way to do a podcast. Anyways. <laughs> Let's all talk at once. Ready? One, two, three. How do I, so I was saying sure that I didn't want to do that, but I think I will John because, hair, hey, it's I'm my own sure thing, and I'm going to. You and I were just like, we're going to do gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a cam one for that, so it didn't really work out. Oh, great. Thanks. Uh, let's not do that again. Uh, let's see. I got another topic. Uh, I watched a tiny, very tiny mini documentary thing. It's basically just an interview that Yahoo. It's a commercial. Yahoo did. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a documentary. It was, it was very tiny, about thirty seconds. In. It was a documentary about Kias. Uh, <laughs> Cars. <laughs> that was a commercial. It was a joke. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Can you say the real thing? Yes. It was uh, <laughs> Kevin Smith talking about Clerks. Oh, okay. interesting. I bet he was a dick, huh? <clears throat> no. Uh, he, uh, Not like he said something that I thought was profound. It was something along these lines, quote, and I think it pertains to kind of like, well, let's see, let's see if you get. If you tell the world that you want to do anything, you will be slapped across the face with a big floppy dick of why. Why do you think you can do this? Why now? Why don't I think that way? People get very suspect. You can't get anything done surrounded by the why people. You got to surround yourself with the why not people. So when you say some goofy shit to people like, I want to try to do this thing. Uh, I've never done it before and I probably don't have the aptitude for it. The answer you get is, why not? That sounds like fun. And I feel like that's kind of how Counter Circuit got started. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Big old floppy dick of why not. You guys yeah. are why not people. And, that's and great. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you guys are why not people to yeah. my why not. Uh, yeah. And vice versa, and and you know, and I'm sure that's true for like every all everything that we've pursued. That's been uh, not necessarily counterculture, but not within the spectrum of what it means to be normal. Sure, uh, yeah. like like you guys deciding, or like you deciding to pick up a class on improv, or mm -hmm. you deciding to do stand up, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, because why yeah. not? Because why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah, and everybody else is there to support you too, so long as you surround yourself with the right people. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like so, that. I will say at the beginning of that quote, I kind of just was like, well, you can sometimes you do need the people to ask, like, why? Like, yeah, sure. Well, everybody is asking you why. Right. Whenever you initially start anything yeah. that's a creative project, I, I, I everybody's guess, asking. You I why. guess some people put more funk on the word why than others, like, why? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Why? Why? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, why, Scott? Why? 
Scott just, Hawaii. Just go to your job and shout out, Scott. Uh, yeah. I think what Kendra's referring to is people who like have your best interests at heart and ask you like honestly yeah, like, because they don't want to tell you like, hey, you should probably not do that. They yeah. want you to come to the conclusion on your own because you're your own person. Right. So yeah, they'll be being like, well, why do you think that happened? Or why do you think you did that? Or whatever. And then you just <coughs> realize by them asking you that like, oh, shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or maybe I shouldn't do that again. Or but how do you know unless you try? Have True. you guys been in True. a situation where people... Have done that. Or the, the, you've decided, hey, I'm going to try this out, or I'm going to do this and thing. And they kind of talk like, you out of it. Why? Yeah. Why do you? Yeah. You that's know, uh, can you give me an example? Uh, when I wanted to be a high school teacher. Really? Yep. Huh. What? I dropped out of college because of it. <laughs> Woo. Because you wanted. So you to were be on the path to become a high school. Yeah. Educator, and somebody was like, "That's stupid." Uh, like twenty people told me that's stupid. In a row. Yeah. <laughs> Did they just like yeah, line up? <laughs> The heck? They lined up. Those are <laughs> like not supportive Why? people. Why? No, they were all supportive people. They were a couple of my favorite high school teachers. They were teachers that I worked with uh, when I was a educational assistant. So, uh, they were opinions uh, that you respected. Yeah. So that's kind of why they were it's people they were who okay. were just like, why would you do that? They were just like, no, you deserve better. Don't do that. Oh. Oh. That's funny because I actually this week kind of came to the conclusion that I should probably maybe get my teaching certificate yeah um i still I think didn't i think you should because i think you you'd be a good teacher <laughs> <laughs> because i don't deserve better thank so, you for so grounding what me what led you to that i don't know well last week um i was covering a lot at uh the place that i teach music at and um like i i just got a good vibe like i, I was helping out with one of the group lessons over the weekend and it was just like you know i could i could probably do this and like i had I had like an English teacher in high school that was like it was senior year and she was asking me, "Did you ever think about becoming a teacher?" And she and I was like, "Why?" And <laughs> she was like, "Because you don't deserve better than uh, <laughs> a, a, a shit salary and uh, no respect." Yeah. Uh, but you get summers off, so that's the <laughs> that's the trade off. You get no respect. Right. All right. So I had a funny comment from on Facebook. Zach. Yeah. Uh, John Mayer wouldn't call himself a comic if more people would have asked why. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, so true. Fuck <laughs> Kevin Smith. But it's John Mayer. So he kind of like, he just kind of, you kind of get to a point where you're like, he's ah, a trailblazer. Try this out. Yeah. And then you get, you can open up for like Camille Nanjiani or something. Right. You know? I think I went into that quote with negativity because I just don't really like Kevin Smith. I like his movies. I like what he does, but I feel that he's very ungrateful. How so? Hmm. Uh, it just never feels like. He appreciates the success that he's had. Sorry, Kendra. Can you just gotta eat that goddamn mic. Do Why does Scott get to stand all Scott, the way back there? Scott talks really loud. I'm a boomer. I don't want to talk anymore. You're not going to be heard anyways because you're not <laughs> talking into the mic. <laughs> so it really doesn't matter, does it? We Whatever. almost made it to ten anyways, episodes, you, were, you, were you guys. About uh, Kevin Smith and. <laughs> Could you not? <laughs> If you Shit, want, it, your mouth just opened super <laughs> wide. <laughs> Only on color circuit. <laughs> uh, Are you sure about that? <laughs> you sure? You sure? So I've heard some negative things about Kevin Smith. Uh, he said something uh, that was kind of inherently sexist on one of his shows where he's a judge. Uh, now, he has like a podcast network. Yeah, and it's really big. Right, uh, yeah. he's doing very well for himself. Sure. Apparently, though, on this pod, on this, not podcast, but on this um, show where he's a judge, it's like a nerd show, like who's the biggest nerd or something. Uh, and he's like, you know what? Like, you really do got chops. You got to give it up, especially for a girl. You know what I mean? And that's kind of inherently oh, like, God, you know, yeah. dude. Like, oh, I, we see what you're saying. Well, yeah. Honestly, even just the premise of that show already pisses me off. Who's the biggest nerd? Yeah, I hate. I hate dick measuring, no matter what kind of dick Weren't you just in is. a comedy contest a couple weeks ago? Okay, well, you know. <laughs> so, I don't know if you're... I'm, I'm career... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm and, career and minded, won, though. And you were happy I about didn't it. I win this last one. Yeah, but the one I prior to... Place. The one prior to, you one. did win. It's all politics over there. Yeah. Actually, uh, I don't know. Felipe <laughs> says... It's just politics. Let's talk about that. Felipe on Facebook says... Yeah. Uh, I had a girlfriend... Who said I couldn't sing and I need to shut up? She was right, but I got into a music improv group. Fuck Damn. yeah, bitch! It's true. I was in it with him. Uh, he and I both didn't get a whole lot of singing parts. 
<laughs> you were just there. Yeah. We were but those what? people that talked right before the song what? starts. Everyone like, you sing, hey, why are nice you voice? angry? Lies. <laughs> Phil, she are you back? Nice voice Phil, are you her. back in Albuquerque yet? I got to talk to you about scheduling Slap Monkey. <laughs> Get back no, here. Stop. Or whatever it's called. I have a lot of things to talk about, actually. So, Kendra, can you be the schedule master for next week? Are we, we're not going to talk about this on. Uh, also, we need to make a Discord what? for, no. <laughs> for a Color Circuit. It's a yeah. Twitch oh. thing. We learned about it last night. Not necessarily night. a Twitch thing, but yeah, a lot of people on Twitch do use it. It's basically, did you ever, you did online gaming, so did you ever use Ventrilo? Or yeah. yeah, it's basically the new Ventrilo. I think oh, Ventrilo I is not really. I have used Discord. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We need to make one. Apparently. I wanted to plug a couple people if I can. Plug some people. Yeah. It is Albuquerque. Pow, 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 pow. Are they, pow, 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 pow. Are they oh. what? Uh, they're... <laughs> <laughs> just we were Albuquerque, bang bang. Sh- bang. Last weekend, I I went to this thing at Sister Bar that they have once a month, every month, um, and they usually have it on Sundays, and it's called Moonstone, and it's a lot of cool vendors, and they have a theme every time. And last time it was '90s hip hop barbecue. It was really Ooh. awesome theme this California time this time it's gonna be like disco bird, queen bird, 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 and they have like a dj every time and um bird, 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 yeah so i wanted to plug bird, bird, the bird, 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 person who runs it her name is danny 11 and she works at uh, moxie hair studio and she cuts my hair and she's really good and um she also sells these little terrariums that she makes called in her shop is called curiouser curiouser and curiouser it's really Ooh. cute. Was it in Knob Hill? Uh, the studio that she works at where she cuts hair is in Knob Hill. It's called Moxie Hair but Studio. But Curiouser and Curiouser, where is that? She just sells that at, like, pop-up. Oh, okay, so it's not a, bri- events, a brick no. and Morty store. But um, she's really cool. She's one of my friends. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, and then the earrings that I'm wearing are by this guy who does jewelry that he makes out of wood. And I don't know if you can they're see them, so but cool. they're really freaking oh, wow. cool. Yeah. And he specially made these ones for me. Custom order. Um, his name is Danny Hart. That's H A R T. And you can find him on Instagram at Danny Hart Design. Danny Hart Design. He's awesome. He has stuff for guys too. He makes like bolo ties and like he makes these hats with like the wood panel on the front and um and wallets and stuff. Like he's he's awesome. Yeah, so the hats were pretty cool. Them. I saw the hats. Uh, bolo ties. I'm not that I mean, southwestern. If you're enough. like a New yeah. Mexican person, yeah. you know. If what you're I mean? feeling lazy, yeah. it's a lazy man's time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, lazy man's time. Sorry. But yeah. really, his earrings and All his necklaces. He's up. he's so creative. He's awesome. Just saying. And he actually started making jewelry because his shit. wife's jewelry got stolen. We have to stop talking over each other, guys. Yeah, sorry. It's not working sorry. for a fight. No, it's not it's you, it's Scott. Not. It's just Scott. Sorry. It's just sorry. Scott. So, so yeah, he, he, he started making jewelry because his wife's jewelry got stolen. Their house got broken into, I guess. And, uh. um, and so he made some jewelry for his wife just like because he felt bad. Aww. And she's like, oh, my God, this is awesome. You should do this like for a living. Oh, so that's he started how he got doing started. it. Yeah. And then like people really were like, cool. yeah. This is really cool stuff. Oh, and then you also got another custom made jewelry from our friend uh, Andy. Oh yeah. What's his last name? Um, Andy Romero. Andy Romero. So he find makes his stuff jewelry online. out of choya, which yeah. is really cool. Mm-hmm, so yeah. And turquoise or something. Yeah, choya, yeah, yeah. and then he inlays it with turquoise. So. Very southwestern thing for those of you that. <laughs> he actually proposed into that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he proposed his his uh, fiance with a choya ring that he made. So. It was interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's a little yeah. hippie. Joya for mm. us, but I don't know cool. what Joya is. You guys don't know what Joya is? No. You live. You here. heard that? You grew up here. <laughs> that was whispered. Did you heard that? Yeah, I can okay. hear everything you've been saying. You're <laughs> yes, two you've feet been away very from me. Loud. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm okay with it. Which is why the mic doesn't need to be next to his mouth. I don't know what Joya what is. is. Joya. Is it C H O Y? Somebody comment. What is Joya? What is Hey, Phil. What is Choya, guys? Phil, what's Choya? Somebody explain what Choya is. So you guys have probably seen Choya before. It is a type of plant. Oh. Out like here, cactus? it dries up, and you might think it, it's a cactus, but it looks like wood. It feels like wood okay. when it's dry. You probably you see it on a lot of the hiking trails up here. Okay. But a lot of people use Do it for, for stuff. No, I don't. I, I don't go hiking. I don't go so it, I don't it looks like thin wood that's it, yeah, it's just, cactus-like, but it's also got these holes in it, giant holes in it, like everywhere. So what does it look like if you if you, I were on one of these high? It's a cactus. Hi. Choya is a cactus. Sorry. Yeah. It's like a cactus. Oh, so that color? Choya is a cactus. It's green, and it's then green. it turns okay. brown when mm-hmm. it like 
when it when it when it dries desiccates. up and you use yeah. it. But okay. you can okay. tell it that it's not a cactus. Desiccate means to to be without water. <laughs> It, the first it's three, a, it's, a, it's related to deceased, science, I science, imagine. It's a science yeah. term. It's kind of like defecate. De, de, desiccate, deceased. Do you know what science is? No, you know no. what science is? Is it related to hiking? Because that, <laughs> I'm, not, that I'm, not, I'm not on board science with science. Science and hiking go, go so well together. <laughs> wow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is the disappointing... Disappointed no, face. No, 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 no. I'm not disappointed. I just, <laughs> I think it's funny that you guys are New Mexicans and you don't know what choice. I'm, I'm actually New very Mexican. surprised. Too I am that. a, but you've lived 35 year old New Mexican my whole life. I've never heard the word choya. You've definitely seen choya, though. You do I don't walk. I don't walk yeah. outside. Get off my back. <laughs> Neither do let's, I. Let's, I hate let's exercise. Let's all agree that Scott is Midwestern at heart. Yeah. What do you mean at heart? He grew up here. He's, he's no, no, Midwestern. no, Midwestern, not Southwestern. Oh, Midwestern. Yeah. Sure. Oh boy. Yeah. Gee whiz. Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, he's, so, he's so Midwestern. I am not. I he's hate the, the South. Midwestern. I don't hate the Southwest. I I am indifferent. I don't care. Like I'm I'm not like I'm from the Southwest. I'm also yeah. not like fuck the Southwest. Yeah. I'm just Where are like, your parents from? My mom is from here, born and raised here, and my dad he was a army brat, so he moved around all over. He high school was in Japan. Um, Wow. His, uh, he grew, uh, he was born in like Wisconsin, I think. There we go. Yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. oh because his I think favorite you... team is the Vikings. Oh, I think shit. Kendra oh, really shit. hit on something. You do oh, no. have a Midwestern sensibility. sensibility. Yeah, absolutely. And we also that. fall into Midwestern accents together like a, all of the time. Oh, like oh. a bat out of hill. <laughs> you Why do you have though, Kendra, a Midwestern? You do sort of have that though, like just naturally. Yeah, sometimes. I don't, I've talked about this. Uh, with many people, and I have no idea why. Born and you raised where? Like, well, yeah, born and no raised in idea. Florida. Okay. Uh, especially if I say things like comedy. Comedy. Or it's Minnesotan. Or it's, happen. It's happening. It's like your Minnesotan. Happening? Ha no, I'm ha ha you don't know where you get it from? Wait, your mom or your dad? They don't, well, not your dad. But dead dad, well, yeah. <laughs> well, he, I, was, he was still I born mean, somewhere. <laughs> But you're from Florida, right? No, so all my Florida. family is actually from like the New England area. Oh, so my dad Boston. was uh, uh, it's like upstate New York and Pennsylvania mostly. There you go. That's okay. it. That's it. But that's not how my family talks. No. Are you no. the no. only one though? In the car. Yeah. That talks like that? Yeah. That's weird. Right? That weird. That's weird, right? What does your mom sound like? Your son of a bit normal. <laughs> Normal. Norm. Yeah, she's, she's a normie. She's a normie. Huh? She doesn't say happening. That's <laughs> it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> There's not a Y up there. I like H. it. It's no. endearing. Yep. <laughs> I really do like it. Yeah, Thank mo you. most yeah. people here that I know, they, they have a, a Hollywood Californian accent. It just, mm -hmm. it's, to me, normal. Yeah. Yeah, it's not outside. It doesn't sound southern, even though we're in the southwest. Right, yeah. south by yeah. name only. doesn't sound midwestern or any of the above. No. Yeah. All right, I'm out of topics, guys. How long have we been streaming for, Dylan? No clue. Go to YouTube. YouTube's. Mm -hmm. That'll tell it. Oh, that'll uh, tell us. Have you guys go to the seen any oh. good movies lately? Oh I my gosh, want to see Spider Man? You gotta see Spider Man. I, oh. I saw Baby Driver. Have you, have seen you seen it? Oh yet? fuck! Don't the tell me I want to see Baby oh, Driver. I want to talk to you about All it. All right, I'll see. I'm seeing. Uh, oh yeah, you guys want to go see Big Sick on Sunday, huh? <laughs> Sounds good. Is yes, that please. an offer to be? You, <laughs> you need a ride too. <laughs> <laughs> just make it into the whole Kendra special. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. No, my sister and I are gonna go see the big sack. I want to see that on yeah. Sunday. Too. You guys want to go see the big yeah. sack? I want to go see it. Okay. Which one are you gonna go to? <laughs> well, we're not gonna say it. It's on the stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> We should well, go to. Uh, we're not going to say what movie theater you're going to go to because all of our fans might bombard us. I don't know. <laughs> this this thing lives on the internet forever, so they'll go back in time. <laughs> and don't <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we've been going to Flick's Brew House a lot though. Uh, cool. Have you? It's yeah. You, are you actually before. eating there? Yeah, we get yeah. there maybe half hour before. Okay. Uh, sit down. We order. By the time the movie starts, you get your food and uh, cool. you get a little beer or. Uh, Another kind of uh, like a brewy thing. This is a very um, that interesting. Expensive. It can. I'm I don't not know. paying for that. <laughs> I'll pay for your movie, but. Uh. <laughs> we should go <laughs> to a matinee somewhere cheap. 
Yeah, that, that that can be arranged. I, also, I don't think uh, the big sick would be at Flix because just because it's a smaller movie, yeah. it's not like a big. Yeah. Do you even know if it's available in any movie theater? Like oh, it, it it did come to Albuquerque. It, yeah. it is here. It's probably it's like at the Century downtown. Probably or, or maybe the Windrock. So yeah. we'll figure it out. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Me? Uh, you regularly go to the movies with your sister on Sundays. We have that, been the last true? couple of weeks. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, just the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I, like I mean, known you. often. Uh, I do go uh, to the movies with my sister, but yeah, she's been really getting into the Flix Brew House too. The Flix Brew House. Um, okay. So and uh, she doesn't live far from there, so yeah, we've been going there. We saw Spider Man last week, and then we took our dad to see Wonder Woman on Father's Day. Did he like it? He liked awesome. it. Yeah, oh, that's great. It was oh. a great movie. Yeah. Uh, I never mind. Go on. I have. Uh, uh, I feel like I may have told this on the podcast. I can't remember, but uh, this weird memory of walking into uh, my friend's house and I was probably 16 and she was sitting in like a U shape like it, it, like it was a couch uh, but there was two couches on the side of it too like in the shape of a U okay. and there was, all, every every available seat on that couch was taken uh, everybody was sitting down uh, and it was the girl and it was it, that I was that I was my friend that I was meeting up with and then all of her family members. It was like her mom, dad, sister, brother, oh, cousin, oh, uncle, okay. aunt. And it was her T O and T. It's really not a big deal, but it was just really weird to me. And I was with another friend too, and I turned and I was like, What the fuck is going on? Like I'm not used to family. <laughs> and so the reason I bring this up is because you have it seems like you have a good relationship with your sister yeah and i have zero relationship with my sister yeah uh, and on top of that seeing uh, whenever i think of like like uh the perfect family dynamic i always think of this girl from high school with whose house we went to family. and it was like they were all sitting there like laughing and like enjoying each other's company and mm -hmm. i was like what the fuck is yeah. this? yeah i mean i love my family like i don't have the whole god we have to see my family like right. whenever they come for like holidays i love it, it just we we wow. click we're very same like sensibilities and sense of humor and everything. Um, Lucky man. I yeah. I mean, uh, I uh, I uh, well not well my mom's side, my dad's side. I don't really have that great a relationship okay. with. Okay. I've grown to not dislike them, but growing up it was kind of weird. Uh, we had the stories and stuff, but um, yeah, my mom's side of the family, I'm very much like them. And they're, they're cool like people. Me. Yeah, cool people, very funny. Uh, and we, when we hang out, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah cool. Imagine a, a bunch of funny browns. Oh, they're not browns. Duffies. Your moms. Yeah, Duffies. Duffies. A bunch of funny Duffies. Run, Duffies. Around. Yeah. I like my brother. I get along with him pretty well. I cool think it's because we're close in age. Ah. And we have a lot of the same taste. Within things. like two years, two, three years? Two years. Two years, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So. Rhythm he's, method. He's a cool guy. And we hit on like Kendra's brother. Yeah, we all know that I'm close with my brother. <laughs> 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 she knows that he's <laughs> uncertain. We all know what his penis looks like. Uh-huh. It has a white hood, apparently. What does that last one say? How by much Carbine. How does it cost to get the signs made? Oh, Carbine. Uh, Carbine welcome back. We saw him last night. Carbine from last night. Uh, him and a bunch of other amazing people on our Twitch channel. We had channel, a good chat last night. I'm really glad you guys are coming back from and watching UK. us. From the UK. It was freaking uh, awesome. We yeah. want to build the Twitch channel with you guys because we are not we're not that great on Twitch. Like We obviously don't know what we're doing. we got 35 followers and whatever. But anyways, to answer your question, Carbine, that sign... Um, I got it on a T-Mobile Tuesday deal. If you have T-Mobile, make sure you download the T-Mobile Tuesday app. And every Tuesday, they give you discounts on things. So, for instance, I've been going to the movies. I've gone to the movies several for times for like four dollars because they just give you four dollar movie tickets. You know, things like that. Thanks. Anyways, they had like a, a, a Vista <laughs> Prince is the name of the company, and uh, it was like t uh, something's happening over here. Oh, yeah, I thought that was a dig at him, like the the whole thing's thing. Nope. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Guys, kiss and make up, all right? Oh, no. <laughs> Never! <laughs> Not even on be deathbed. I think it's Vista Prince, Prince or Print.com. Check Print. them out. It's pretty cool. Vista Print. Yeah. Uh, and I think I got like 10 bucks off of it or something. So we ended up spending like 10 bucks or something because we're shipping and whatever. But so that one's a poster up that's there. That's a poster. This is just the TV. The television. Ooh. So yeah, if you guys want to have like a cool setup for your twitch or facebook or whatever this is kind of we're like sharing we, we think a, yeah we think a lot about our our layout and our background and and hand puppets <laughs> <laughs> i think it's uh, <laughs> time to call it who, yeah, who are we yeah. talking to no who's kendra's friend <laughs> over oh, there kendra's friend. <laughs> hold on i'm trying to find my mouth behind the microphone hi scott oh hi who, who are you billy billy yeah hi it's good to meet you, Billy. What are you up to today? Oh, just uh, 
looking down about all the plebeians. Are you dead? Are you looking down from heaven? No, I'm just taller than you. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, were you here the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you... I'm sorry we didn't talk to you. It's okay, I'm used to it. Oh, I'm so. Is it because you're so tall? Yeah. Have you seen two little girls around here? They're twins. They're in these, like, cute, frilly dresses. Come no. play with us, Billy. <laughs> it's a shiny reference. Did you see, reference. Like, like, red rum written on the wall or anything weird? Nope. A naked lady that's old. I in the did bathtub. dress up as the Shining Twin once for a comedy so. question mark show. And oh, so cool. we, uh, so me and this other girl who had a similar body type to mine, we had the same exact body. Uh, not weird at <laughs> all. That's a weird thing to say. I, I'm, there are not many people who have the same body as it's me. Like, so we like, bonded over our bodies. Like, oh, you're also tiny, and people ask you if you're anorexic every other day. That's great. Let's uh, be friends. That's High a five. joke on friends. Like, you, oh, you're my hand twin. I had a oh, friend yeah. who yeah. would only date girls like that. Like, that was his type. And he's like, if you Is have he single? tits, like, <sighs> no, he's married and has a kid now. Mm, Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, so me and, the, found his girl. me and this other girl, we hosted the beginning <laughs> of the Comedy Question Mark show in unison, dressed up as the shiny twins. Wow. And then, like, two other things later. But so cool. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> There's a lot of comments. What are those? Holy shit, we're blowing you're up. You're those closer, aren't you? Holy shit, guys. You're Twitch. blowing up. Twitch! I don't know why we just kept kept it over there. We thought it'd be better, but it's actually just... Whatever. Crazy. All right, let's see what it says here. Uh, Reacts Ramey says, where's the weed? Don't it, esta? Where is it? La Mota, the it, marijuana. <laughs> it's, not, it's not legal here. That's true. That's, uh, Carbine, so that, are that's you why a medicinal. streamer? Do you stream in Albuquerque? Oh wait, are you? Yeah, are you local? I didn't know. Where are you at, Carbine? Do we know you? Where are you at? Where are you at? What movie theater are you town. going to, Carbine? Yeah, this is a tiny town. What a lame. <laughs> are what? you high, Reacts? It seems like you are. Am I high? Nope. No. Do you guys? No. I don't do drugs. I'm not paranoid. Yeah, I, gonna, I don't know if you guys would answer and this. And if on my stream. eyes are red, it's because I have. Whether or not you've done d drugs or uh, do do drugs? Yeah. Oh, I'm, cool. I'm very open about. <laughs> I haven't dr done drugs you in a while. You have to do a drug test soon. He yeah, said but that's fine. I've okay. I've only ever tried pot. I've never tried any other drug ever. Mm. And I smoke pot maybe one to three times a year and remember that I hate it, and then yeah. don't right. smoke it for a whole another year and then remember that I hate I it. I smoked oh, it I once. I got really really sick, like throwing up, mm -hmm. and really paranoid, and then I was like, never again. Last time I got high, it was a bummer. Up. So sorry, Reacts. Reacts me didn't. We We're didn't just do. Being yeah, sorry. Honest. That's just her though. I mean, I get yeah, you don't I get high like a mother. He's no, all don't. about the I'm weed. All about, I'm oh all God. about. He's like super. I'm strange. all about the dope, the ganj. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's that? Where's that ganja? Where's that sweet chiba? Yeah. Mm. Oh, we really are very lame, aren't we? Yeah. No. Kind of. uh, we're actually all. <laughs> no. Uh, we're super cool. We're all. We we put together this really cool channel. Uh, we're all stand-ups. Yeah. Half yeah. of us are stand-ups. Yeah. All, all of us are yeah. imp improvisers. I, was, uh, John uh, yeah, we, we, I think we live pretty cool lives. Like, yeah. I feel pretty lucky. Yeah, we don't need drugs. No. Come on, Reacts. And Unless we, I've been doing really bad react, drugs and sorry, you have cool but drugs. I'm a social worker and I have a job where I help people, so I can't go to work baked every day. But after. Or any day. Oh. Or any day. <laughs> um, <laughs> there is the Relax people. Fridays. Goodbye, nerds. <laughs> Uh, Zach, <laughs> Zach F and Bennett, 420 is cool, you guys. <laughs> Wait, 420 cool guy gone so soon. Zach, you're awesome. Damn, wanted to listen to Sublime with Rome and punch each other to sleep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all tricky for you, Zach. Uh, we, we, we're real cool here. We I don't like know what's cooler, Twitch chat or Facebook chat. Rome. I love Twitch chat. Twitch oh, chat. I, I, I enjoy the talking trollers, to us a little bit more. Honestly. Yeah. yeah, well, this guy's not trolling. That guy's is super oh, funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, reacts Ramey, the only cool guy, is the minority. minority. I think he's just being glib, or he's a child. He's being glib. Glib. Glib? What is and glib? And by the way, Flippant. I may look Flippant. white, but I'm like, actually lying. a quarter Mexican. But he's like, it's like tongue-in-cheek uh, tongue tongue cheek, yeah. Ch yeah. Tongue-in-cheek lying. Oh, uh, you're being glib. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hablo más español que él. Él no habla español. Hey, the only cool guy is the minority. Thank you, Reacts. That is me, the minority. Mm -hmm. I just told you I didn't. Sm I don't smoke weed. Oh, but I pretended to be smoking. Yeah, you a did. Lot of, right. Yeah, I called it the dope. So <laughs> is that weed? Is weed the dope? Yeah. I, How do you well, smoke you one could, of these? Dope is a lot of things. I've tried one other Spin drug. Right no, you're doing it wrong. Uh, right. Camera two. Camera, camera one. Camera, camera three. That is a fat 
yeah. blunt right there. Uh, <laughs> and you got to do it the Huge. upside down. <laughs> it's like the cop that holds the gun like this. It's funny. Well, anyways, yeah, we're at an hour and oh, we should nineteen minutes. Oh, that's that's um, that's yeah. enough, isn't it? <laughs> I think in so. In it, in it, in it, enough. When, when did you get British? Oh, you know, a lot of people say in it. Mm-hmm. We should have we just, our own podcast <laughs> where we just say nothing of substance for an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just, just fucking with each look other. at each other and make weird voices and <laughs> noises. I'm sold. Number one on iTunes. He is not really, he doesn't behave like a minority that he actually is. I, oh, whoa. That I, is getting very stereotypic. Cut, cut the stream. Cut the stream. No, Goodbye, everybody. Crazy. We'll see he's you white. later. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to yeah, act? Yeah, how is he supposed he's, to act? He's whitewashed. I he's he's white. What does that even mean? How do white people act, Jessica? I I think if I yeah I think if I had to (laughs) if I had to like say that I like hey guys commit to a (laughs) a culture. I I sound like that. Not you. But I'm white. (laughs) If he's supposed to sound white, he's like hi guys. Hey guys. White guys sound like Mickey Mouse in the '60s. Oh, oh dude. Boy, every door though. flew open for me. <laughs> if, if only it did. If only it did. Genie. Yeah, wh- wh- what's you the deal, it? right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm white. Check your watch. What's going on? <laughs> Still nothing? Still nothing. <laughs> Mickey's not telling you anything? No notifications. <laughs> Didn't even need to wear this today. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. Carbine says, uh... Ugh. See, reacts. we don't even have to smoke weed. Oh, we act like we're high naturally. It's like a... We're high on life. Yeah, that's what cool people say, right? And with yes. that, life. and then they and high five in the air, yep. and then they freeze frame, <laughs> and then Ronald Reagan comes out and goes, "See, you don't need drugs." Let me see your cool face. You know what, guys? <laughs> One last what? suggestion before you <laughs> go. I'm smiling too much. Watch Glow. On yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. Really great show. Did you watch Hilarious. it, Scott? I'm on episode two. Ooh, it's really great. I'm watching good like. Show. A bunch of things. I just yeah. finished a HBO documentary. Uh, I'm still watching Twin Peaks, and I started Glow. So cool. Mm, I'm watching yeah. Hannibal and uh, Daredevil. Mm. Oh, I love Daredevil. Daredevil's I really good. I haven't seen any uh, season, of the Marvel shows. So season shows. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm on season one. Because they're coming out with um, a, a joint show with uh, Jessica Jones. A joint show. Yo, joint. Uh, it's about the chronic. Um, <laughs> Jessica, Jessica Jones, Jones, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and, and Luke Cage, yeah, and Daredevil, yeah. yeah. That's going to be badass. What are you watching right now? Uh, Wentworth, which is the show that I was telling you about the other day. It's like yeah. Orange is the New Black, but Australian <laughs> and more dramatic. Nice. Very cool. Um, Interesting. And then I also just finished uh, the new Fleet season. Um, I love that show. I've never heard anybody talk about Fleet? that show. Flaked. Flaked. I, I mean, Flaked. I, I've seen it on Netflix. But oh I've yeah, I've seen anybody it. talk it's about so it. So good. Yeah. Um, and then the new F is for Family. Oh, F is for Family is great. Yeah, the new season is really good. It really delves more into character development than the they first got, season did. I forgot that the first season was only like six episodes. Yeah. And they get like twelve, and they a uh, whole story yeah, arc, it's and so good. yeah, it's really good. Are really you guys good. Bill Burr fans? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Bill Burr. I am, I am not a Bill Burr fan. Ah. He is. Uh, me and my brother differ in that my favorite comedian is Louis, and his is Bill Burr, and we don't like each other's. Comedians. Interesting. Although I think he's he's he said Louis growing on him, and I've listened to some Burr stuff that I like. Yeah. But I just don't his um, I think his style or the way yeah. he approaches it just isn't for me. Sure. Same same uh, similar is uh, the guy that uh, is always has a scotch in his hand. Uh, Ron White. Ron White. Not oh, a big fan okay. Of type of comedy either. A lot of people that are big fans of Ron White. No. Or, that's or true. It, it can, that, that's kind of past. Ron like White I remember a, when the whole blue collar thing was big and Ron White has a day. podcast on Audible.com, I think now, where people send in rants and he rants it. Does that make sense? Yeah, Interesting. Sure. I'm, I'm sure it's good. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. It. Fine. I, I don't like him. There's but, a. I mean, he's not my taste either, but he's got. There are Something. people that like his style. Who's the what's the who's the ventriloquist comedian that's huge? Oh god, don't. Why are we talking about Jeff Dunham? Um, Jeff, Jeff Dunham, Dunham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, the, the, I I feel the same way about him and that like he was huge like 
forever. Like the Comedy Central had all those specials all the time. Mm -hmm. Talented, like as ventriloquism sure. goes, very good. But, but yeah, it's just like the basest. You don't think he's a dumbest talented. joke? I actually writing. like liked it, but when I was also sixteen when I watched it. Sure, but yeah, yeah I think and it's uh, it's colorful and it's flashy and. A lot of it's people very, call them racist. Kind of, very, yeah. yeah. And very just basic. Like, he doesn't really try to go past it, but... Who's what your do you favorite, guys think Jess? Of Mark, what do you guys think of Mark Maron? Not that I'm... I, I'm just bringing him up because he's in Glow. He was in Glow, yeah. I like Mark Maron. God, yeah. he's so good in Glow. Yeah, he's yeah. really good in Glow. Yeah. Who's, your, um, who's your favorite comedian? My Get that favorite mic comedian. in Oh, God. I don't know if I... I mean, I have lots that I like. I really like Louis, too. Louis? Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you're not um, a huge comedy nerd, but, no, but I think by association, you're kind of a... I really yeah. like um, Dave Chappelle mm -hmm. and Chris Rock and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big, I'm big on uh, Kyle Kinane right now. Yeah, he's, he's he, and he's very consistent now with albums. Like, he has like four, <coughs> four and like an EP out and yeah, really good. I saw him when he came here. It was a good show. Um, I saw Mark Marin the last couple <laughs> times he was here. Those are both really good shows. Um, Kanane also has a spooky podcast. We touch talks about spooky stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. I yeah, it's him and another comic. Cool. They were both on Bizarre States as guests. Cool. Uh, I Kanane is one of the f one of the first comedians I think I've ever seen. Actually, you were saying, yeah, an early uh, show. yeah, one of my favorite jokes of all time. The uh, uh, what, what was it? Um, oh, oh God. Trader Ming. Oh yeah, the his oh, Trader, Trader Joe's Ming. thing. He's like a Trader Joe. Trader you gotta yeah. you just yeah. look it yeah. up. It's, it's on his first good album, uh, Death of the Party. <clears throat> Carbine's favorite is George Lopez. Cool. How do you guys feel about George Lopez? He is also, I wouldn't say controversial, but like he's specific because it's a lot of Latin based jokes. Sure. Yeah. So not a lot that I can relate to mm -hmm. just right, right off the bat. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but no, I mean, I think he he's funny. I haven't seen a lot of his material. I paid a little more attention to him after the whole Carlos Mencia thing oh, blew yeah. up because yeah. apparently. George Lopez watched one of uh, Carlos's specials, and he and his manager were like writing down that was from my special. Yeah, that was fr from my special, like verbatim some some of these jokes. Oh, shit. Yeah, from and, his show, right? Yeah, and so, show like, or whatever it's uh, George Lopez confronted him like behind uh, the scenes at like the comedy store or something in L.A. and was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And like, yeah. so that kind of blew it up. And then is Joe it, Rogan got involved. Is he still a late night? Uh, George, Lopez? George Lopez. He, he hasn't had, had a show. show in a long time, actually. Uh, I, he, he had a show on TBS. The, the George Lopez show, I think yeah. it was called. And uh, then he had a sitcom. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Okay. Yeah. And Can then I his just... late night one, I don't know what it's called, but I met George Lopez. Ah. Uh, he's one. Of, he is. He was one of my favorite comedians growing up. Also, I, I think I, he, I actually could relate to some of that because because my father's Mexican. Okay. Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say we mentioned zero female comedians. I was about to. Yeah. I, sure. I also am a huge fan of Sarah Silverman. I think she's hilarious, and I really like Chelsea Handler too. And <coughs> she's not really doing stand up so much anymore, but she's um, out there. She's out there, and she still does her own talk shows mm -hmm. and stuff on Netflix. And yeah, you really love funny. her talk show. Yeah, I think she's great. But, Maria um, Bamford. Who are you yeah, she's great too. Yeah, Maria's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so I was getting like a little bit obsessed with Eliza Schlesing Schle Schlesinger. 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 The same. The same last name. Schlesinger. Is the Jewish woman that does the. The oh, I say Laura? Jewish because Dr. it is Laura? very specific about Dr. her. Dr. Laura Schlesinger. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Laura Schlesinger. Um, Schlesinger. So yeah, at the beginning of the year, I had watched her recent special, and then I went back and watched all all of her older specials, and I was like, oh, I really like this girl. She is, like, I love her, her, just, her act outs are really good, her hmm. characters are really good, and I was just, like, all about her, and I was like, fuck yeah. What's an uh, act out? <coughs> I should probably know this. Kind of puts a scene in a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. For making that shorter Put a than scene what in I would have said. Got it, got it, got it. <clears throat> um, and then, just recently, she kind of got uh, a lot of flack for giving, she just always gives other female comics shit. Oh, and okay. so she's like, ah, mm. oh, female comics just talk about their vaginas, and that's all they know how to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely wrong, um, but I will say <coughs> that maybe the biggest female comic right now is Amy Schumer, and she does talk about that, like, 70%, yeah. yeah. and I hate it. I do not like Amy Schumer. Um, right. That's one of the reasons is because I, I it is all funny. that. Like, I, I, I like her, but I definitely 
don't think she's as funny as like Bamford or Silverman, honestly. Well, and I, me. it's like, yeah, I think Amy Schumer, I mean, she has her voice and she's very confident in that voice. And either you like it or you don't. Right. I think I've seen what it, do, what it is doing and what it can do. And I'm, you fan ready, of it? I'm ready right. to move on. Like, you're <laughs> yeah, no, is it like, I get it. Yeah. I think she can be funny, uh-huh. but I think a, for me, a little goes a long way. It's just because that what and it's just like anyone who has oh I don't like the way he sets up jokes like you you don't like yeah, Bill yeah, Burr's yeah. way of yeah. doing I, jokes yeah I feel like it should, we should all feel like it's totally fine to hate a, or not like a yeah comic it's or like just a comic I, and, yeah. but yeah. like you can see oh she talks about her one night stands and her uh, being her ways and everything I think she can be very funny and I have laughed at her but just as a whole it's like nah, I wouldn't like seek out an album sure or sure sure. Yeah. The latest Sarah Silverman special. Mm-hmm. Have you watched it? I've Not heard yet. it's really good. It's very recent. Oh, uh, I want to watch it. it. I was literally crying. Really? It was that so good? good. I've heard um, it's really good. I loved it. Does she talk about when she almost died? Does she have any jokes about that? Because she almost died. It was crazy. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Wait, before she you, before you, before ICU, you say yeah. that story, uh, Carbine says George Lopez. Carlos Mencia stole jokes from Cosby. Too. I didn't uh-huh. know that. That doesn't surprise so me, though. Carlos, stealer, huh? Carlos is one of my least favorite. I mean, mm-hmm. he's awful. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know sure. if you've ever watched the show. Carlos it's really so bad. bad. Uh, and how about Rodney Carrington? Carrington. Do you guys know who Rodney that is? Carrington. He is a southern comedian. A lot of song humor. Um, he was big on the Bob and Tom show and uh, a radio show. And um, yeah, he, he has a lot of goofy songs. He's very funny. Mm-hmm. He, had, he also had a sitcom for a brief period of time. Um. Yeah, he's he's good. Who are the two guys that I told you about? They're also like a morning, and they did they did sketches together. These two guys, they were really big. They were out of LA, I think. I was really into their uh, their radio. Kevin and Bean. No, yeah. no, not Kevin no. and Bean. Oh, I don't know. Uh, That's you, the only one I know, really. You um, you 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 named it the other day, and I figured you would be shit, the one person um, to name it. They would do sketches. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. No, no, no. Because they're East Coast. Yeah, Opie and Anthony are the guys that worked with. Um, and now they're both fired. I like, was thinking yeah, about. Um, Opie just got fired from. Wow. Uh, oh. Doug Stanhope, because we've actually seen him here. I've seen him a, a few times, times here. Yeah, at the launch he's pad. Great. He is really controversial, and a lot of people just like hate what he has to say about life in general. But that's kind of what <coughs> I love about him, because yeah. he has like the most controversial viewpoints about things. So. Is he? I didn't. I didn't know that. He does. He's like. Really I know he says controversial things, but I, I didn't, I've never thought of him as a controversial comic. He's extreme. Yeah. He's like. Yeah. Yeah. I think Are if you, you I think down? if he were bigger, no. he would be controversial. But I yeah. think he has his niche, and he's well, just yeah. staying in that. And yeah. so he's not. He's not going on like the Tonight Show right. and yeah. doing his stuff. I'm like, cool like, with just that. performing yeah. in like small places. Like, but I mean, if you, if you yeah. hear like one of his jokes, you're like. Okay, that's his. That's what he. That's how he yeah, that gets to the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe my, you know, next to Louie, my favorite comic is is him. I, I was love, thinking about this I the other day. Uh, I was listening to the Nerdist podcast, and they were talking about. Um, Chris Hardwick was talking about like how it's really, like, sad. Like, if you if you like love a comic and you can't, it, it, and your fa- and it's your favorite comic or whatever, but you can't emulate them, and you're trying to be them, but you're not them. That's not your voice, but mm-hmm. it's what you enjoy most. Uh-huh. If that makes any sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And sure. I, I kind of hate that. Like, I, I could never be a Stanhope or a um, Patrice O'Neill, sure. my other favorite comic, uh, because I don't, I don't think like them. I don't, I don't talk like them. That's not my voice. I still, find, I'm still finding my voice. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, another thing that he said too is like a lot of people don't actually find their voice until until they're in their 30s while, or after 10 yeah. years of comedy or whatever. But yeah. anyways, like. But I, I feel sad because I, I, I like their humor so much. I would love to do mm-hmm. something like that or emulate it. But well, and there, there's also the thing I, I, I like to hear when like uh, Jim Gaffigan writes a joke that is just not him. So he gives it to one of his friends who could like a uh, David Tell or yeah. something like <coughs> I do. I don't do this humor, but I came up with this joke. Oh, like, OK. So like I, 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 just, I like that that movie. Uh, uh, the, the Seinfeld documentary. um it's just called like the comedian or something, okay. but it was after it was after he got done with Seinfeld and he got rid of all of his material and he started from scratch. It's actually really interesting because he starts literally going to just can I get up? Can I can I do some time? Just working on material, mm-hmm. and he's the biggest name in comedy at that yeah. point, and it's really cool. But um, 
Yeah, it, but there's this, these great parts where he and like um, uh, Colin Quinn and uh, Ray Romano and R Chris Rock, they're just hanging out, eating, and they're riffing and they're coming up with jokes and be like, oh, I'll use that tag or like, you should do this. Yeah. And it's just, I love that idea of like some of the best brains in comedy are just like friends and hanging out and like, ideas i can't do this joke you should do this joke yeah yeah that just i just that's that. really cool um have you guys watched comedians in cars getting coffee yeah a few of them no. i have watched almost all of them are they good they're, they're so obviously good. You're they're great you know it is? yeah they're great where do you watch uh them? at comedians in cars getting coffee.com or if you have a Crackle app on your <laughs> Apple TV or Amazon Fire Stick or something like that. Do you know what it Crackle. is, Jess? Yo, Well, just explain it for the viewers uh -huh. anyways. Okay, so uh, it is uh, Seinfeld's web series, um, and it's other comedians <coughs> getting into nice cars with him and going to get coffee and just talking shop. Yeah, nice. it's really good. Uh, cool. It's so good. He um, picks up Patton Oswalt in a DeLorean. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and it breaks down on the way to get coffee. <laughs> Uh, my favorite uh, episode was Barack Obama. What? That is a yeah. that is a great one. Legit. Yeah. That's yeah. so wow. cool. Except that he has to go to the White House. So they make <laughs> they, this whole joke where they're, they're gonna just leave. driving around the the grounds of the <laughs> yeah. White that's House. That's like between two firms. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's such a good uh, one with uh, Obama. Yeah. And, and and Seinfeld's like. You, you read, what do you mean you can't leave? Tell him you're the president. Like, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm the president. Let's leave. <laughs> I can do what I want. Okay, I want to watch it now. That no, cool. actually, my favorite episode is Louis. Is Louis? He yeah. goes on a, his boat. Oh, and then there's an animation. It's mm. so good. <laughs> what? They get animators? <laughs> it's a really, one. yeah, really well done. I've never, I've never heard anybody talk about the show. I mean, it's been, it's pretty big. It's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how many years? Three? The last, I don't know. I only found it four. about a year ago. Yeah, but yeah, he he has like what seasons? I mean, whatever yeah. that constitutes. Yeah, yeah. But right. um, yeah, he fits it in with his touring schedule and everything. And he yeah he he picks people up in unique cars to that person, um, like Mel Brooks. I mean, he gets everybody uh, to yeah. to do the show with him. So it's it's definitely one to look up. And it's awesome. great. It's a good Brian Regan episode. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah. That sounds mm, Brian really, Regan's awesome. really great. Yeah, I love watching it. Okay, okay cool. well, I'm tired. Well, yeah. now we're, we must be at like an hour and 40 yeah. now. Uh, yep, that's uh, wow. 136. All right, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. so what's coming up uh, for Color Circuit? Uh, next week, we have another edition of uh, the Phil and Dylan Improv Show podcast. Uh, tentatively that. called Slap Monkey, I think. <laughs> Pleasant. I Bless think you. it's uh, going to be Thank here you. next week. Okay. Um, hello, Tantonic. Oh, hey, Tantonic. Tantonic, hey, from last night. Was with us last All our night. friends from last night. I know. Uh, we're trying to hit those 50 followers so we can get a sub. Mm. Mm. We need help. We need help. We don't know how to do it. We suck. Yeah. We need you guys. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, one of the things that we do here is an improv podcast, which me and my buddy Phil host, and we think we're going to have it uh, back next week. Let's see. We're also going to play some video games next week. Um, and, 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 and Call of Cthulhu? Oh, yes. that's a good idea. Yeah, Call of we Cthulhu. couldn't do that this week. Yeah. Yeah, this week. Technical difficulties this week. We didn't uh, talk about that. I have that. a storyline that I'm really excited to do. Yeah, it's a role-playing game, uh, for those of you that don't know. Call of Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu. Cool. Um, and then, uh, so, okay, so that and video games, maybe playing Binding of Isaac. It's a multiplayer yeah. game for the Switch, so you need to bring your Switch over. The rebirth. four players on yeah. that. Rebirth. Tantonic, which... Uh, Improv studio, are you? Uh, Tantonic UCB? on Twitch says, I'm going to a Hollywood improv show right now. UCB, uh, Second City. <laughs> Gra uh, Groundlings. Improv Olympic. Yeah, we, 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 we love. We're all improvisers. We're all improvisers. So we love really improv awesome. and we've been to a lot of theaters. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? So those, those three things at least. At least. Um, another circuit board maybe? Probably another circuit board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you alright though? I have to sneeze again. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, who's <laughs> that? That's the <laughs> Sneeze cam. Oh, don't put it on me. <laughs> Get it on that sneeze cam. <laughs> sneeze right into the camera. Oh, God, no. I don't want to sneeze on the mic. We're also, um, a deep I'm early. thinking about, uh, streaming over the weekend, guys. Uh, yeah. some Final Fantasy twelve Zodiac Age, which, uh, just came out Tuesday, I believe. Um, and it is a remake mm. of the Final Fantasy twelve game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it only came out in Japan, and now they just released in the U.S. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, I want to, you know, get some yeah. more gaming on the. We want to do a lot of stuff. We yeah. do a lot of mm -hmm. stuff on this channel. Um, 
and we're really excited. Woo! Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! Woo! Woo! All right, anything else? Any plugs or anything, guys? Woo! I you would like to sh- plug <laughs> Dylan and I because <coughs> next weekend is our seven oh. year anniversary. Oh my God, you guys! That's, uh, she's going to get the biggest the plug of them all. Itch. Yep. Yeah, is it is, is seven year the itch? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's seven what the movie's itch. made out oh, of. Oh shit. Yikes. Uh, that could be the, old what's podcast. The seven year itch. That means it's time to That's get out of break this up. place. Oh. It's like, hey, <laughs> where are we going? Shit or get off the pot. Yeah. It's been seven years. Tintonic says, I'm not sure which one he's referring to the uh, improv show in Hollywood because my friend hit me up on a spur of the moment with an extra ticket. I don't know who that is in the red bandana. Wow, seven years. Congrats <laughs> to you too. Thank you, Tintonic. Hey, Tintonic. Her name is Kendra. Hi, Tintonic. She's one of the founders of the Hi. channel. Oh, yeah. Tintonic's saying that because you were the only one not here last um, night. She wasn't here last oh. night. And um, she's awesome. And she does stand up and improv too. She's one of the founders of uh, Color Circus. Yeah. Color Circus. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm having and a thank sneezing you. fit. And she's having yeah. a sneezing fit. Let's and thank you about the scan. seven years. That's really nice of you. Um, I have a show tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tell us about it. At Rio Bravo Brewing. Mm-hmm. What kind of show are you doing? Oh, stand up. Sorry. Yeah. Very don't, cool. don't cooking stand-up show. show <laughs> uh, yeah. Crafts. Yeah, I'm also cooking. Um, <laughs> yeah, stand up show tomorrow. Rio Bravo Brewing. It's at like second in the freeway. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Open mic starts at 9 30. Show starts at 10 05. Cool, I'm on cool, it with cool. a lot of really cool people. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you really are. Those are a lot yeah. of that's a good yeah. set. I'm like super excited to be on the same set list as Danger and Greg and then also Anne, Fred, and I'm forgetting someone. Who am I forgetting? Because it's a. No, that's it. That's, that's it. And yeah, and then me. Fun. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Hosted by Kevin Kennedy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, and I don't even know if I'm supposed to talk about the show that I'm going to be on because I just got added to the ticket. What Maybe it, not I? until well, Tito we have a while. We could do it next sure. week. Because okay. it's in two weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a show in a couple of weeks, a stand-up show, my, my second showcase, which makes me feel very happy. But my feels like kind of like my first real one. And this time it won't be in a yeah. basement. Yeah, it wasn't in a basement. Basement yeah. shows this are cool, though. Be yeah. And I'll actually be getting paid this time. So what? Probably five bucks or something. Yeah. But it'll be my Something. first paid comedy gig, and it's stand-up, which is oddly upsetting because I've been doing improv for – three times as long yeah improv doesn't pay you don't get paid in improv yeah it's harder to get that going harder to get paid though i it's yeah i I don't know that that doesn't sound right i don't know i don't know well thanks you've you've done improv i like that sticker too you've done improv for many years yeah and i hardly i never got paid you never no you got paid a couple times come on yeah but not i've gotten paid more doing stand-up for the last three months than you have improv I believe that. Mm. That's crazy. I've been doing stand-up for a lot longer now. We can't just keep saying three months as the months go How by. How long has it been? You said that three <laughs> months ago. <laughs> How long has it been? When did you start? What month? I started start? in February. March, April, May, June, July. Five months. Yep. Very cool. Oh, you only started a month after me. Yeah. Oh, Dang. look at that. But who's counting? Who's... <laughs> Who's keeping track? I'm, you know, I, I sure she's ain't. She's just winning comedy contests. <gasps> she's always no winning comedy dealer. contests. <laughs> Tank, uh, Tantonix on Twitch says, sick Beatles sticker on the laptop. Beatles for life with a Y. It's true. I grew up Beatles. with the Beatles. That is her. Um, her. Yeah. But I got you the, the sticker. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's one of my What's favorite up, things. What's up, Kendra? Kendra's trying to call it quits because she's tired, but... Sneeze you know again. What? I Sneeze realize cam. what I'm realizing is that the longer that we stream, the more viewers we get, which just it just makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. But let's she, go for two hours, you guys. We're wa- almost there. She oh, wants to have a life, guys. Let her have her life. God, if I don't get one, she doesn't get one. I just want to. I work early, yep. and we still have other stuff we need to do. She's correct. You know what? She's right. Thank you uh, all for watching. This has been the ninth episode of Circuit Board on Color Circuit. Thank you for all of our. Twitch interactions. Yeah, thank you, Carbine. Our Facebook uh, interactions. Zach F. Thank you, Bennett. Tantonic and Carbine yeah, and all, 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 all our repeat customers, too. BDM That's really Joshua, cool. Andrew. Andrew. Uh, we've had a lot of really cool people. Yeah, on. thanks, guys. We've got a lot guys. of people on Facebook, too. Uh, yeah. Carbine, um, not right now, but I, I promise if you tune into the next uh, circuit board, I'll give you a little tasty taste. Yeah, Carbine asked to, asked to give a sample of the comedy show. Uh, mm. And thank you, Tim. Tasty taste. Yeah. Yeah, we're having fun over here. Yeah, you should go back and rewatch. Mm. There's mm. some good stuff in there. So. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, bye-bye. 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 Now. Bye-bye. 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 Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Is the stream on? Bye-bye.